Prime Minister, are there still bombers on the run at the moment with explosives? Some are on the run. We don't know whether they have the explosives or whether they're hidden somewhere. How many of these suspects are still at large? A few of them, I can't disclose the numbers. But enough to be a threat? Well, every single person is a threat. I mean, the, the President has called for the police chiefs to resign. Do you believe they should resign? Well, the President has spoken to the two of them. The Cabinet said though all those who are responsible must resign. They, they said, look at it, there may be a, uh, about three, four or five who should really go. But do you agree with him? Yeah, those who are responsible have to go. No, they have to give up their post. But the root of the problem is this disagreement between you and the President, isn't it? That's what's led to this. There have been no disagreement on this issue. On the first job of the Prime Minister, the security of the nation. Yes, and in the Cabinet we are responsible for that. Do you want control of law and order now as the Prime Minister? It has to come under Cabinet, not under me. The Minister is a part of the Cabinet. People are very angry, aren't they? Who should they be angry with? Well, they're blaming the government. There will be elections soon, won't there? And, and the people will get their chance to we'll express their, their anger at there. the ballot box. Yeah, but I, I feel if you take action and now apprehend them, then it's, it's, we, we should be able to explain to them. It's impossible to say this country is safe at the moment, isn't it? No, but we hope in the next few weeks we'll make it safe. Can I ask you as a Sri Lankan, as a human being, how do you feel about what's happened? Very, very bad and very sad. And what do you say to those people who have been burying their loved ones? What can you tell them in this situation? Asian Mirror. Dot LK.